that stopped working when I put it up. I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's try over here. Let's see, can you see my paper right here? Yep, that's my tree trunk, okay? So here I have my trunk. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leaves. So I got some daffodil leaves. I found some tulip leaves. Uh, these, I have no idea what they are. Uh, this is a weed. Here are some leaves from inside my house, flowers from, uh, leaves from inside my house. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrinkle them up. I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to crush them. Okay? Crush them with my hands. Hear a little crunchy sound they make? Okay? Then I'm going to take and I'm going to draw with the leaf. Now, if you see, what color is coming out on that? You're right, it's green. It's the chlorophyll. So I'm going to crush this up. This one thing worked as a piece. I'm going to crush it up, right? Because remember uh, the video I saw the other day said that plants have very stiff walls. The cells have very stiff, stiff walls. They don't have bones on them, so you have stiff cells. So you got to break them up. Okay, so this one. Go with that. That's a tulip. There's a lot in there. Okay, so I'm going to crush it. So when I crush it, I'm making sure the cell walls are breaking down, okay? So it's not as strong as it used to be. Because we learned that the cell walls are very rough to help give the plant its strength, especially in their trunks and roots. So here is my tree. Now, I painted my tree. Let me fix this so I can see what's going on. I painted my tree with the leaves. So the color that you see is not paint, it's chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what the plants make using the sunlight, air, and water, and that's what they use for food. So here is my tree painting using chlorophyll. Okay, you guys can take some leaves, take a piece of paper, you could take a trunk. If you want to make it nice, you can even color your trunk in. Let's see, I'm going to draw some ridges on my trunk, all right? So I draw some lines, and I'm going to color it in nice. My trunk is going to be brown, like trunks are. And then you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to draw some soil, right? Because the tree grows in the soil. And then I'll draw a little grass on top. Grass is green. Do you know why? Because grass has chlorophyll in it. So I that, I'm going to draw some grass, and then I'm going to take a blue marker, I'm going to draw a little blue jack in my tree. Because it's my tree, and I can draw what I like. You can draw whatever you like. If you want, you can make an apple tree. Let's get a red marker, a red crayon. You can draw some apples if you want to make this an apple tree. Remember, apples can also be yellow or green so you do it those two if you want to draw apples in your tree you can make your tree nice and lovely okay so remember plants make their own food right they use the sun they use water and they use the air especially carbon dioxide in the air and that's what they use to make their own food and their food is called chlorophyll and the process of them making the food is called photosynthesis okay so here's my tree picture i can't wait to see yours okay guys see you later have a great thursday Bye-bye.